Hi everyone, it's Matt here from Greatness Every Day and in this video I'm excited to sit down and talk with you about how to set intentions for 2020 and beyond. Any year that comes after, whether you set your intentions at the beginning of a year or halfway through a year, this is a guide that I'm going to give you to setting intentions that are very, very specific, that are very clear and that are aligned with what you want to accomplish in your year. So um, watch this entire video. I'd really appreciate it if you give me any feedback down in the comments below. Of course, course, if you share this video with people, uh, that would be great. But the really good thing for me here is I'm able to give you a guide that I created. It is free. If you watch the entire video, you're going to figure out how to get that guide. And I'm sure that it's going to provide a lot of value for you. And I love any feedback that you have to give me on that. So let's jump into it right now by jumping in and, and talking about the idea of me personally, I never was one to set resolutions as I've gone through a new year. Um, I never set resolutions growing up as a kid or kind of as I've gone into my 20s. And um, that's something I just never did. Like I always lived a pretty healthy, active lifestyle. And if you look at a lot of resolutions we have related to those things, um, that's where a lot of them come from. Maybe your resolution would be related to finances. I was okay with that too. So I never had some big moments where I had to go ahead and I felt like I was really uh, in a spot where I needed to go ahead and make some resolutions. But a year and a half ago, I started sitting down and saying like, what are some of the goals that I have uh, with my life just in general? And that's obviously how I started greatness every day as a challenge to myself uh, and a challenge to other people to do the same and get the most out of their life. Um, and that really led to goal setting. So I find myself in goal setting, um, but then I got clear as I worked with a mentor who really got me to establish what my values are. And that was happened at the end of um, 2018. And then as I went into 2019 last year, I said, okay, these are the values. These are the things that are important to me. These are the things that I want to live within. Um, and I really need to make some goals that are clearly uh, aligned with those values. So um, the resource that I'm gonna share with you reflects that. It walks you through a process of establishing what your values are. It then takes your values and says, okay, what are the goals or what are the intentions that you have uh, to complete for this time period, obviously being a year, if we're talking about a new year. Um, and then from there, I also encourage you to not just go ahead and set the goals that you're going to meet on the day to day, but dream big. Go for those stretch goals. Think about what your stretch goals, those things that you could never imagine um, coming true are, what are those? So I'm gonna walk you through this framework and this is a framework that I created that you can go ahead and use personally. You can use this as a business. You can use this as a, a, a bigger team. Maybe you're organizing an event, something like that. You can go ahead and, and use these things to meet any goal that you have. It's health, it's wealth, it's uh, relationships. It is something related to uh, a health or a, an active goal that you want to accomplish. You can go ahead uh, and use these for anything. So this is a framework that I wanna jump into. And it's gonna pop up here on the screen. Um, I'm going ahead and using the one that I've wrote down in my journal. So it says my 2020 intentions. Um, obviously there's a guide to setting 2020 intentions and the instructions are there. I don't wanna go through those. You can read those as you are doing this activity on your own, but I'd really make sure that you find some quiet time and a quiet space um, for you to just think and meditate and reflect upon um, some of these things. Because if you rush this activity, it's not going to play out too well for you. Um, so really be intentional. Obviously we're setting intentions about this activity. Um, and there are three main pieces like I talked about before. There's a spot for values, getting clear on what is ultimately the most important things to you. There might be two, three values that you have that are, you say for this time period, for this year, I'm going to focus on these things. And I can say, uh, for me doing the values activity that I did with my mentor, uh, is one of the most life changing things for me. And, and I don't really want to throw that term out there because a lot of people overuse that. Um, but for me, when I got really clear on what the values, um, I wanted to live my life by were, then that really changed a lot of things for me. It changed my mindset, it changed my relationships, it changed so many different things um, that I'd really encourage you to go ahead and do this. I don't know what your values are. It's not for me to tell you what your values are, but it is for me to encourage you here with this resource that I'm sharing with you. Get clear on your values. It's one of the biggest things that you can do that's going to change your life. I have 
five values. I didn't start out with five values um, and I don't think you can have too many more than that because if you're trying to juggle uh, too many balls, you're going to drop them right in the end. So I have, I started out with three to four um, and then as the last year went through, um, I added an additional value. So my five values are faith, relationships, health, continuously improving myself and others as number four and number five is freedom, living a life of freedom. So these are the values that I have that go through and they are going to be uh, kind of what governs the intentions that I have. So as I've gone through, I created um, seven intentions for this year. Um, I could add more as I go through the year, but I have seven intentions uh, that are in line with the values that I created that are very easy for me to measure if I have attained them or not. One of the things that I found last year as I did this activity is I really um, had a couple, just two or three goals that, and intentions that um, it was kind of not easy for me to measure whether or not I was doing those things or not. So I said this year as I go through, I need to make sure that each of these seven uh, intentions that I have for my year are things that are measurable that I can assess this as I go through my year and say, am I meeting this intention? Yes or no? Do I need to reshape something uh, and to get back on track? So um, just a couple of these as I, as I go through, um, exercise five times a week, at least two of those exercise uh, periods are strength exercises. I want to travel to two new countries. I want to hit 10,000 subscribers here on Greatness Every Day. I want to also earn uh, more than $12,000 from this what I do here, this internet business, uh, greatness every day, and I want to public speak, uh, be invited to speak at either a conference or an event at least four times throughout this year. And I can say that for me setting my intentions last year, and those are just a few of the ones that I have for 2020, um, it allowed me to, for the majority of them, go above and beyond. And I've shared a little bit about those intentions and the review that I had of my 2019 intention. So if you want to check that video out, you can. Uh, but it's something that a lot of the times allowed, it, allowed me to um, succeed and go past and go beyond the intentions uh, that I have. And the third part here is a really important one stretch goals. These are things that are way beyond my wildest expectations. They're really, really, really big goals. And you might just start with one. You might start with two, um, but I'd really encourage you not to go over three. Um, and these for me are all in different areas. If you talk about health or wealth or relationships or spirituality, any of those things, um, I would really encourage you to at least come up with one stretch goal if not two or three. Uh, write those things down. One of the biggest things that I want to really encourage you to do uh, as well is you might choose to kind of have a word, have a word that represents your year. Um, that's what a lot of people do. Um, this is something that I haven't really put into practice a lot. Um, but you might have some experience with that. So if you do, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below, what's your word if you talk about it for the year 2020. So once you've gone through, you've printed that document off or maybe you've done it digitally, I really would encourage you, there's something special about writing it down on a physical copy there. I want you to do three things. I go ahead personally and I place that into my journal. From there, number one is I go through and I read them each and every day right? Intentions are things that you need to be constantly, number one, reminding yourself of. And also with that, making sure you're assessing, am I living within my intentions? Am I living within my values? Yes, no. Um, maybe sometimes what are those things I can do to change it to make sure that I am living within my values each and every day. Number two is share them. Okay, this is something that through a video like this, I'm able to share what the intentions I have for uh, my personal life or my family life or my business life or whatever area I'm looking at. I'm able to share these and then my friends and family, they are able to hold me accountable to the fact that I'm doing these or not. And really accountability is what we all need at certain times of our lives. Um, if we're looking at the goals that we're going through and, and trying to achieve, we need to make sure that we have people in our corner that are really fighting for us. So that is the second thing. And the third thing is cross them off. This has been one of the biggest things uh, as I did my intentions for the last year. As I met one of those intentions, maybe it was my goal to hit, I think I started the year out at between four and uh, 500 subscribers on on greatness every day here on YouTube. Um, and I'm ending the year right now just with about 
2,500. I think in a few days I probably hit 2,500 subscribers. So I went way beyond the intentions that I had. And one of the cool things for me was as I went through and I crossed off those intentions that I was hitting, it really created momentum and it had momentum build and really did more to help focus my energy and my actions uh, to make sure I could go ahead and grow what I was trying to do there. So uh, this is a guide that I'm going to give you free by leaving a link down in the video description below. So you can click that guide um, and you can get that for free. I want you to share it with yourself, share it with other people, share it with friends, family, uh, somebody that you know is going to get a lot of use from it and, and give them a lot of value. I'd really encourage you to share it with people. These are things that as we look at going through and, and challenging other people and building a community of people who are looking at living their greatest life, uh, we're not supposed to do by ourselves. This is what community is for. Uh, it's for that encouragement and edification of each other, building each other up. So if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and make sure you go over and check out our website at www.gr8 neseveryday.com. You might want to go ahead and follow us on Instagram. We'd really appreciate that. That is more so where we go ahead and upload the day-to-day -day encouraging quotes, motivational posts, uh, messages that you might find a good reminder for those moments that you might need those little reminders. And we'd really appreciate it there. Let us know what you thought of this video down in the comments below. And remember, choose greatness every day.